And weather woes in the United States continue amid the festive season as the brutal winter storm raging in the country is turned deadly now. The death toll due to heavy snowfall now stands at 31. Officials warn that it could further rise. The situation is particularly worse in and around the city of Buffalo in western New York, where at least seven people died on Christmas Day due to heavy blizzard. Officials describe the harrowing situation in the snow-prone region with hours-long whiteouts and bodies being discovered in vehicles and under snowbanks. Emergency workers struggled to carry out rescue efforts here. As of yesterday, we had announced three total deaths. Uh, we can confirm four more deaths for a total of seven. Uh, four in were confirmed during the overnight hours. Uh, I don't have the exact total of how they were found. I do know that some were found in cars and some were found actually on the street in snowbanks. Uh, I offer my deepest condolences to the families, some of whom were probably have not actually been notified yet. Uh, but we do have seven confirmed deaths at this point as a result of the storm in Erie County. Uh, there may be more. I don't want to say that this is going to be it because that would be it would be fallacy for me to say that because we know there are people who have been stuck in cars for more than two days and there are people in homes that are uh, below freezing now temperatures. Now due to the storm, the massive storm here that turned into a bomb cyclone, more than 200,000 people across several eastern states were left without power on Christmas. Many had to modify their travel plans as well. Several flights had also been cancelled, with 2,400 cancelled alone on Christmas Day. Temperatures in some parts have plunged to as low as 45.6 degrees. Weather experts have warned of frostbite and hypothermia. They've also urged everyone to take precautions. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.